Welcome everybody to an absolutely phenomenal afternoon at America's National Park of Speed, the incredible Road America circuit in Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. And we are ready for the first race for the 2023 Moto America season of the Royal Enfield Build Train Race Series. A uh, launching pad really is the concept to bring women into this sport. And uh, so lucky to have this as part of the Moto America Championship. The ladies are making their way out now and are going to be making their way out for their sighting lap. And uh, got a nice field, 12 uh, women racing here, six of them returning from the last year's championship, six brand new. And one of the really key points about this, Roger, is this is not a pay-to-play type of a series. You don't have to have money to come and do this. You have to have desire. You have to have interest. And if you get chosen to do it, you get the free ride and you get to prove yourself out on this track. Yeah, and, and everybody gets the same opportunities. Exactly. You know, everybody gets the same bike. They get to do you know, you can kind of change, like, you can see how they all look a little bit different. You can put your own little touch to it. But for the most part, uh, you know, there's not special parts that you can buy. Or, or you know, like you said, it's pretty. everybody has the exact same opportunity. So uh, all these bikes are going to be the same and just creates a really good opportunity for, for these ladies to, to come, come out, out here and also be an inspiration for a lot of other uh, ladies that might want to join the track but don't know if they it, you know might not feel like they can do it or not and then you see these girls out there and, and uh, you can see that you can do it not only ride it also work on it they they exactly. work on the bikes themselves as well well, the BTR element of that uh, for the name of the series is build, train, and race. And that's really the key here. I'm Greg Kramer. This is uh, Roger uh, Hayden, of course. And the concept is, yes, you've got a crew that works with you over in the compound and helps you. But these women, those bikes, they take them apart. They put them together. They learn the mechanical uh, sympathy. They learn the mechanics of a bike. Then the T part, the training. And then, obviously, eventually they get the opportunity to get out on track and and this is the first race of their of their 2023 season so it's very progressive and and the cool part is the training part you know taking you to tracks with people that can really help you and you know learn there's no mm -hmm. there's no training better than having somebody one-on-one -on -one and showing you what you're doing wrong or where you could do better so uh, there's a lot of great opportunities for for these uh, ladies and I love this program and just how much better you're gonna see these girls progress from race to race oh yeah and I mean we saw last year some incredibly close exciting races one of them right here uh, but this place to kick the season off this is a daunting racing facility and uh, let's take a look at it right here four miles in length very very fast and challenging high-speed corners yeah long straightaways here road america but it's one of the best tracks turn one all the way down to turn three is really quick down the long chute into turn five right. really hard breaking through there and then up through the infield turn six seven eight and then another kind of daunting corner, the carousel, the longest corner that they'll ever go through, the long right-hander, through the ch chicane, and then out of there, the run down the Canada corner, through turn 13, a really fast, actually blind left-hander, and then the last corner, turn 14, and even here, you know, it's so important to get a really good job out of there. We've seen, uh, seen some drafting last year in this class, and I'm <laughs> expecting to see did. it this year as well. Well, when you look at the track map, it just looks flat, right? But there's huge elevation. I mean, look at this climb out of 14 up the front straight. You've got two very tricky braking zones, turn five and eight, which are downhill, and that tests the metal of any uh, Moto America or motorcycle rider. And uh, so for these, uh, these ladies to start off here, they, look at that climb, and eventually you fall down that in other parts of the track. So uh, this is a this is a pretty special facility, and it's a it's a it's a tough one to learn. It's a tough one. What makes it so tough is because it's so long. Yeah. You know, there's four miles of, of learning, and then also you know with the elevation, you have to trust going over that hill wide open and not seeing on the other side. And that's something that they're gonna have to learn. And then there's some other corners with the little kinks and the straightaways, and just it's just learning it all. And and they do a great job of it. You know, just looking at from their first qualifying yesterday to the, their second qualifying this morning. 
I mean, the, just the amount of time that they are finding each session is, is impressive. And I think a lot of that is that, you know, they are all under the same tent. And yes. they can ask each other questions. They got coaching and all that as well. Well, and speaking of coaching, uh, one of the their, their top coaches uh, is a guy named Freddie Spencer, who, of course, is a three-time world MotoGP champion, and he is sort of a brand ambassador and uh, a coach for uh, these ladies. And, you know, talk about having that resource to go to because Freddie had to start somewhere, too, so he gets it. And uh, as they set off now uh, on their, uh, their warm-up lap here, uh, we're going to uh, be looking for this one again because of the length of this track. This opening round of the 2023 Royal Enfield Built Train Race Series will be a five-lapper. Royal Enfield Build Train Race coverage is brought to you by Royal Enfield since 1901 and by Dunlop, the official tire of the Moto America Championship Series. Boy, it is some beautiful countryside here, no question about that. And uh, one of the uh, challenging parts of this is the fact that um, one of the challenging parts here is uh, the fact that uh, this has been a glacially carved area. Uh, so up and down, it is truly a challenge here. And uh, that's what makes this place so incredibly special. And uh, we're looking forward to this race. And uh, looking for it, like I said, five laps, but it's a long race nonetheless. And uh, if we uh, are, are going to be watching this one unfold, this one should be a real challenge. And the interesting thing is, when you take a look at the qualifying, we have the defending champion was one of the riders who came back this year, Kaylee Bike. And you would think, okay, she's going to be naturally sort of the, uh, the odds-on favorite here. But as it turns out, uh, the amazing thing is, is a newbie named Michaela Moore, who's got a fair amount of, of uh, racing experience when she was a young kid, uh, has been here and has been the pace setter. And uh, that's been one of the things. So now there is a new rider in terms of speed out there that everybody is going to be chasing. They've sort of got that carrot out there, if you will. And that's what's going to make this uh, pretty interesting here. And I talked just a little bit about uh, the guy who... Uh, is one of the the uh, or is the mentor and coach and all that and uh, we've actually got him here in the, in the booth well let's take a look at that starting lineup and you can see Michaela Moore on the number 78 as I said she's got some racing history and it's showing here Kaylee Bike winning the championship last year another newbie Aubrey uh, uh, Crediroli in the third spot Crystal Martinez one of the returning riders who had a really good finish here last year uh, is in fourth Sonia Lloyd one of the newbies is here as well Lauren Prince fills out the top six spot. Moving to the third row, Ashley Truxel, one of the returners. Holly Berry, the Canadian. Emmy Betters is in that ninth spot. Jessica Martin is in 10th. Nicole Perezo, another one of our returnees. And Hannah Stockton uh, here as well. So that's your starting lineup. And as I said, very delighted to welcome uh, into the booth three-time world champion Freddie Spencer, who is working very closely with these riders here. And uh, you picked the heck of a track to start the season uh, on for them. One of the fastest, most challenging tracks. Welcome, Freddie. Oh, well, thank you. It's great to be back here again. And and what a, what a thrill it is to uh, to be involved with this program here with these, these young ladies and lady riders and and they've been working so hard we can talk about that once we get the start going but i've been involved with them and asked to be involved in the, the build and the training process and it's great to get this going yeah, and I mean, this is going to be a great season. Uh, obviously, we're going to see them a number of times. And they've got a quick turnaround here from this weekend to the Ridge in just a couple. So this is going to be great. And it's time to go racing here in the Royal Enfield Build Train Race, the BTR Series. There's the indication. We are now under starter's orders. As always, when the red lights go out, we go racing. They're on. Revs are up. We're green. Royal Enfield Build Train Race underway for 2023. And there you see the number one on that sort of teal fairing. That is reigning champ Kaylee Bike. But it looks like the top qualifier on that black and gold machine of Michaela Moore is going to lead him down into turn one and up to the inside from way back. Sonia Lloyd, uh, Sonia Lloyd, who was in fifth, Freddie, jumps up into that third spot. That was a great start. 
Yes, it is. And you can see, as you were talking about Michaela, she has really been a shining star so far in, in our program, starting with the uh, testing and training in Crescent. And she's gotten used to this bike. You know, the BTR uh, program, the Royal Enfield GT650 is a very, it's an older type, type design, a really great bike. The Harris chassis, which is uh, the Harris Frame Company, has been around many years, and Royal Enfield owns that company now, and they do all the development of the chassis, so it's a very good handling bike. Speaking of which, uh, a great move, Sonia Lloyd, making that bike handle beautifully with an overtake down into turn five, and that puts her up into second spot, making that pass on Kaylee Bike, so she is on the move early here. You can see that that was a great pass. We've been talking about one thing I've been working with the men since training is really about getting better on the brakes, getting the bike under control, running more speed. Uh, looking at the lap times for the returning riders from last year, granted the track's been repaved, but some of them running 20 seconds a lap faster. Oh, look at this, Kaylee Bike fighting right back down into turn eight. Great overtake, she flowed a lot of speed down through turn seven. That's a deceptively quick off-camber track, and I think a little previous knowledge here paid off for her there. Yeah, as you can see, Kyle is the reigning champion. She's, she knows this year she's she's being pushed. She knows that Michaela is really up to standard as far as the pace. Sonya, a new a new rider this year, young student. These are these are an incredible riders. It's been inspiring for me working with them seriously, and I really enjoy. It. They absorb and they listen and they go out and try and they trust. And each time they get on the bike, they get faster. Well, you know, they may not have the experience, but that doesn't mean they don't have the passion and desire. And, and uh, you know, that's inspirational for anybody for sure. And now Kaylee's starting to open it up. And Crystal Martinez is coming after Sonia Lloyd for that final spot on the podium. They are side by side down to that little bend. And I think uh, Crystal had to just ease off for a second. So there just wasn't room for two bikes there. So Sonia continues to hang on to that third spot. Uh, but one of the things I was going to ask is, you know, for Kaylee and for the riders that came back this year, uh, having Michaela with her pace, that gives them the carrot. Now they Absolutely. know, okay, you can ride a bike that fast. We just have to find it. Well, you notice we have two of each. We have two returning riders and two new new riders that are in the top four. And so it's a it's an interesting battle of the experience. And younger riders with Sonia and Michaela both being younger out of the, the two youngest out of these four riders and, and definitely the least experienced. And, and so it's going to be a challenge. They're going to get faster. It certainly brings everyone else along. You know, one of the things that we really wanted to step up this year was the training aspect and, and, and the racing experience. And so the mechanics that I brought on board was, and, and the crew chief or the team manager that I brought on board, Scott, and with the three mechanics, the, the ladies, of course, they're building their bikes and working on them. We have a workshop in Dallas, the Used Bikes Direct there in, in, in Grand Prairie that we work out of. And that place really allows them or allowed them to come together as a team to build that team spirit that is in racing and to build relationships and, and to help them along. And, and so that's what we've been able to do with that. And like I said, with the training, to prepare them as best we can for this opportunity. How many opportunities do they get before this, this race here to, to do the training with you guys? Well, we do. Uh, we did the two two days in in uh, Crescent, and the thing is, Roger, is that we had trouble. Uh, not trouble. It just the program got started kind of late, and I came on board and we put it together. And we're probably going to try to get in another training program, maybe after with my, with my GP schedule, because I go to Italy next week, and I won't be. Um, at the, the race in, in the ridges, but I will be at Brainerd. We'll try to maybe fit something in there. And there's a look at Michaela Moore, and I'll tell you what, she has just been on it. And, you know, one thing for Michaela is, uh, you know, just doing a little bit of a look at what her history is. I mean, she started riding bikes back when she was, what, seven years old and started doing uh, stuff at, uh, I think it was at the, uh, you know, the um, uh, Sandy Hook Speedway. Yes. And she started doing some racing. So she's gone through this racing thing a little bit. Uh, and, you know, she probably has a little bit of a heads up in terms of, you know, the mechanics of riding a bike. Well, she comes from a very, very motorcycle-oriented family, as Rod, Roger Lee's family was, of course. <laughs> and, and that makes a difference, doesn't it? Because you're exposed to it at such an early, she feels comfortable. You could tell right away, even though she really wasn't familiar with this bike, when she got on the bike there at Crescent, she was doing things that riders with much more experience innately and instinctively that she could do. You know, her dad, she works, uh, Michaela works as a motorcycle mechanic at her dad's shop. So she's around it all the time. And she certainly... She's 
she certainly knew when we were building the bike, she caught on to that very well. Uh -oh. Uh oh, problem for Kaylee bike. She had been worked her way back into second and then had dropped back a little bit, got the uh, pass by both right. Sonia Lloyd and Crystal Martinez. And uh, now at this point, we're getting a report from race control that it looks like it's a mechanical issue. It wasn't an off. She didn't have an off. She just suddenly pulled over. And uh, yeah, that's part of the learning process in racing is these things are machines. Yes. And every once so, in a while, so machines just fail. I yes. mean, and, and we've seen this weekend, you know, a factory superbike team having mechanicals. Like you said, yeah. it's just part of racing. And she did a really good job having that mechanical and getting to the edge of the track out of harm's way, trying to get it started and then realize it wouldn't. And then you know, did the right thing and, and moved it out off the racing line. Excellent. Yeah, Kayla, she's a lot of experience. She actually works with Royal Enfield. She runs the demo, demo portion of the program for them um, and very enthusiastic, very motivated. They all are. And it's like I said, it's been a real pleasure to get to. We had over 90 applicants when we oh, announced huge. for six positions at the start. This was in February, into January, February. We narrowed that down to 11 and then chose the six new participants to step in to this Royal Enfield this program is an incredible opportunity for them like I said to learn to build the bike of course get some training and then have their dreams come true and we have so much of a diversity we have traveling nurse we have a veterinarian um, and Lauren and we have Jessica Mart, she's materials manager we have Emma mechanical engineer we have Ash she's a systems engineer at a software medical department. Ooh, Sonia Lloyd getting real deep down into turn uh, number five, yep. but just used that curb, didn't lose any significant ground. So uh, she did the right thing there, straightened it up and yes. climbed that hill. She's just going through turn five so much faster now. Yes. You know, and, yes. you, and once you go faster, you Absolutely. gotta move, you move your, gotta move your brake markers. Now That's she's right. gonna know next lap, I'm either gonna have to brake a little harder or brake sooner. And it's just, they're gonna have to adjust as, you know, they're not just picking up tenths a lap. I mean, a lot of times they're picking up seconds. Exactly. That's yeah. right. That's True. right. You know, Sonia, Sonia is a perfect example from her heritage. Her dad, David Race, he was involved with the Royal Enfield Dirt Track Program. And Larry Pingram is one of one of the people who helped train her. And she's in an amazing young lady. She's a biological engineer, and she's doing an internship at Simmons. These are incredible young ladies, you know, that they love motorcycle, and they're so enthusiastic and out here wanting to prove what they can do. What goes into the, the choosing process? That's a very good question. Well, one of the things we look for is, is that. They, they, it, was a, it was really hard, Roger to, to narrow it down to those 11 to get to six. We, I couldn't believe. And it was inspirational little media uh, stories they sent us, and we reviewed it. And, you know, their stories and background and, and desire to want to ride a motorcycle, learn how to ride, build a bike. Um, and it's, it's their presentation, a little bit of experience. It's not about racing experience. You know, this is more than that. This is, again, about building what really motorcycling has given me, given you're like yourself, right? This opportunity to, to, to what we share in, in, through motorcycling. So that's what we look for in their presentation. This is a, a program that's also about the social media. Um, the, we have a crew here that, that documents everything that they do and kind of tell the story. Wow, Crystal just, by the way, got a great run out of 14 and moved up to the inside. And I, it, I don't know whether uh, Sonia meant to do it, but she just moved over. And if Crystal was going to make the pass, it was going to be through that oil dry. And uh, that could have a psychological, uh, you know, that's gamesmanship. That's all, all, all part of it. But yeah. I want to get back real quick. The other element of it, as we're watching Michaela, was just having an absolutely superb run. This is not about money. No, it's And that's not. what makes this special because it doesn't matter what your back background is it's yes. it's the ability to come in and do it and uh, real quickly these two racers they're having a great duel but it's yes, allowing Michaela to even ease out a little bit quicker isn't well, it? well we know Michaela certainly had the pace she dropped it even you know three more seconds this morning but really impressed Sonia who stepped it up she was getting quicker each and every time one of the things we worked on getting ready for the race today was our corner speed yep. this morning had her go out she went out behind everyone she could work on body position one of the things knee position that she was struggling with getting turned kind of twisted on the bike one of the, and she's extremely competitive and that shows she gets faster and faster as, as the weekend goes on and doing a great job here Second. Yeah. And you can see there, she had, Roger, she had that one moment where she yep. ran way wide. Yeah. This time, she, she didn't, and she, but she flowed even better speed. Yeah, yeah, and then that's just something that they're, at, like I said, once they keep going faster, talking about them going quicker, Sonya qualified at a 3.01.3 in her best time in this 
race is a 58-8. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I you start cutting through for seconds, I mean, yeah. things are going to change <laughs> quick. Yeah, they do. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you have to remember when you're going faster than you ever have into a corner, maybe break a little sooner. Yes. And uh, sometimes, uh, you know, that's the lesson. And Michaela is just absolutely flying out there. I'm going to get back to, you know, I can, you know, I can see people going, I understand the training part, you know, right. from, from training in, in terms of physical, social media, dealing with media and all that. But what's the need for the build thing? Well, you don't win three world championships and you don't will, you know, win AMA championships without having a little bit of mechanical understanding well, of what you're riding. And also that's, that's a part of this. That's a little bit of the Royal Enfield philosophy, the real grassroots part of it, you know, which, which is really the, the part I, I love is they want to get in. They wanted to learn to build the bike, that relationship. My dad now working in our garage. And as we watch this, which battle here with Crystal and Sonia. And, you know, that that's part of it. And, the, and that was one of the things, each and every single one of them, when we was doing the interview and, and, and the live interview, they said, we want to learn how to build the bike. All right, and this is it through turn 14, and Michaela Moore rolling up the hill, and she is heading toward the white flag, folks. And uh, tell you what, I think she's 19, and man, does she put on a show here. And uh, she is hustling that Royal Enfield Continental GT650. Love the sound of these bikes. And she receives the white flag, and uh, she has got a huge margin. Going to uh, check out and see what that margin is here. And uh, it's you know this is just obviously letting Sonia and Crystal and Aubrey and Ashley know what they've got to overcome here. And it's 15 seconds here uh, that she has been able to put on them, and she just looks good on yes. that bike. Everything yeah. she's doing everything right. She like I said from the very beginning, she was very smooth. As we see the battle with Sonia and, and Crystal, it's impressive. Uh, obviously. As Sonia has, has stepped it up, and and they all know that Michaela certainly at this point is is the rabbit, you know, that yep. they're trying to chase down, and it's pushing them all to to step it up. And and the other thing I like is is that because they've actually been more consistent in the training part that we've done, it's allowed us and them to be able to help them with bike setup, be more consistent and helpful with that. And then you look here, you can see them even working the draft now. Hit each lap, you can <laughs> tell how much more comfortable they yes. get drafting and out breaking and. You know, back to the, you know, the ladies. Everybody has their own personal goal. Absolutely. You know, and that's what Absolutely. they're going for. Some people come here not wanting to, to win, but they just want to gain confidence. Absolutely. Or get a top five or a podium. Absolutely. So everybody has their own, uh, you know, own target for the weekend, and I think that's what's really cool about this. Yes. You know, when I was when I announced I was doing it, and I was going to the Grand Prix, obviously season. I've had like Jack Miller come and go for it. That's the coolest thing, you know, doing <laughs> that and or. or Lucho Cecchinello, you know, of course, the LC LCR owner. And because the thing is, it's exactly right, Roger. Like, there's so many different personalities here, and they're from different walks of life, yeah. and they have different purposes for doing it. And oh, that's the part that we like to encourage. there from oh. Sonia. Little bit too hot, down into eight. And Crystal just sneaks on through. But Sonia pushing the envelope here. Almost like possibly she might have went back an extra gear through mm -hmm. there, maybe. Okay. Like the, when Just she the let the clutch back, out, yeah. it kind of It looked like it locked possibly. up the rear in a little bit, yeah. But if that was what happened, she did a great job she recovering did. it, pulling the clutch in. Now, you know, what? when you have a moment like that, you know, that's one of those, other, of those gut check things. How hard do you come back? You know, and how fast do you come back from it and shake it off? And it looks like she's just dropped the hammer. Well, unfortunately, it's happened on the last lap, so yeah. it's going to be difficult for her to have. She'll certainly be thinking about it and, and figuring out what happened. These bikes, you know, they're no slipper clutch. There's no issues like that. So you can see Michaela here, who looks like she's going to win the race. Yeah, it does. And she tips it for the last time into turn 14 and uh, sends this uh Continental GT650 through the gears as she climbs up toward the checkered flag here at Mo uh, Road America and wins the opening race of the Royal Enfield Build Train Race Series here at America's National Park of Speed in a beautiful sun or Saturday afternoon, I should say. And I'll tell you what, Crystal Martin has, you got to give it to her. She hounded Sonia for a long time. Sonia had that little problem down in turn eight. And Crystal, who finished second here last year, gets another second place. 
So she keeps that momentum alive. But Sonia Lloyd delivering a message there that, uh, yeah, I'm going to be somebody that uh, you're going to have to be dealing with here. And uh, then I think we are going to see, yep, Audrey uh, Crediroli on the number 37. One of our new riders comes through in fourth. And completing our top five, one of our returning riders, the 31 of Ashley Troxel. And Ashley giving it a good run. She was fifth in the points last year and uh, finishes with a strong top five. Well, it's impressive. It, I'm, I like the fact and feel good about the fact we had a nice mix in there, new riders yeah. and returning riders. And everybody, with the great thing today, everybody felt good. They were increasing their pace, and, and they should all feel good about the performance. And what, what a job Michaela's done. And if you look at the, the lap time, <laughs> you know, on the monitor, everybody's last lap was pretty much their, their best lap. So yes. they're just getting quicker at yeah. every lap. And the yeah. other thing was when that graphic came up of, of, of Michaela's lap times, the consistency in her laps. You know, for somebody, this is her, her first time out. Really impressive run. And how, what did it do? It paid off for a win for the number 78 of Michaela Moore. Royal Enfield Build Train Race Coverage is brought to you by Royal Enfield since 1901. And by Dunlop, the official tire of the Moto America Championship Series. All right, and as we are watching Michaela, she is on her cool down lap, and for her, it is a victory lap for her as well. And uh, quick question for you, Freddie. Yes. Now, you've worked with them so hard to get them ready to this point. Now that you've seen this first race in the book, as we're going to watch some highlights here, what's caught your eye? Uh, what's impressed you about what you've seen? Here? Well, it's, it's one thing Roger Lee pointed out. It's the fact that their last lap is their quickest and, and how little mistakes it really that they look like. Not much running wide, pretty controlled. They're increasing their pace. We had that moment with Sonya, as we saw going down into turn five. But under control yeah you know and and really you know some good battles good good safe passing um i'm happy you know yeah. i'm happy for them see the frustration that there for, terrible, yes. yeah, for kaylee bike as she had worked her way back into second and got into a good duel for that second spot with sonia and crystal and then she had her problem and uh and you can see crystal always there and here's that moment yeah, you can see there, it looked like the rear end, as Roger Lee pointed out, it looked like it broke loose, like maybe it was yeah. too low gear and she let the, the clutch and lost the rear. But she saved it and got back going and everything was okay. You're going to have those moments. Absolutely. Uh, when you push the envelope. When you're pushing, you bet. It's all about learning here. And Michaela uh, had, again, just a superb run here. Let's take a look at the results here of this first round of the Royal Enfield Build Train Race Series. Michaela Moore, dominant win here and letting everybody else know just what these bikes are capable of. Crystal Martin is uh, hounding for a long part of that race. Sonia Lloyd and finally able to get through and Sonia had that moment down in turn eight. That's your podium. Audrey Crediroli right there in fourth. Ashley Truxell in fifth. Holly Berry, nice run up into six on the 50. On the number 23, Jessica Martin in seventh. Nicole Perezzo in the eighth spot on the 11. Emma Betters, ninth on the number 42. And then in the uh, finishing in the 10th spot, Hannah Stockton doing an absolutely solid run here. So, um, you know, Roger, obviously, uh, you know, you've watched a lot of racing over the years. You've talked about how good a concept this series is. And uh, this is something that now, I think it's in its third year. It, it is. just continues to grow. And we've seen them run and it's been fun. And you can just see each year the, how much faster the girls are. And not it's not really just about, for me, the speed. It's the how they're in control of the bike. Yes. They look like they're, you know, they're not sketchy. They look mm -hmm. like they're in control. And, you know, Sonya there making that mistake. Now she kind of has that, that feeling of what it's like to be pressured yes. on that last lap when you cannot make a mistake. And, you know, just like anybody else goes through there and then, you know, making the passes on the brakes each lap, you can see beginning of the race, they wouldn't really make the pass, but toward the end of the race, their confidence growing on the brakes on the to be able to make those passes. Yes. Yes. Well, every lap you run, every little mistake you make out there, that's a learning moment. Absolutely. And and you, if you 
are consistent with your techniques, which is the main thing I've worked on them on. You know, get yep. that, that real, the real fundamentals. And then when they come out of the pits, like on the track walk the other day, is, you know, what to get in your mindset before you get on the track. All of those things allow that, right, Roger, to where if, you, if you're focused and you know what you want to do and you start trust that, then you can start racing a little bit and racing safer and, and under control. I want to give a shout-out to Opry. She did a great job. She had actually broke her thumb, hurt her thumb when oh, wow. she crashed at the very end of when we were training. And she wasn't sure if she was going to race. She hung in there, and that was a great result for her. She sure did. Place. Brought yeah. it home in Absolutely. for us. So a great run there. All right. We're going to send it down to Lorette Nickel to talk to our winner. Well, I'm so excited to talk to Michaela Moore down here. She found some extra speed and had about a gap of 15 seconds. Michaela, how did you do that? Um, You know, I just went out into the race, and I just put my head down, focused, hit my marks like I always did in qualifying, and... I didn't know I was 15 seconds ahead, but I was having fun because I like going fast. I love that. And did you meet your expectations today or totally smash through them? Um, well, just within this weekend, um, it was great for me. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, Michaela Moore, your winner. And we're going on over to Crystal Martinez. She is clinching second place. And Crystal talking to her. Hi, mechanic over here, congratulations. Second place, that must have been, did this blow your expectations out of the water? I mean, considering my last season result here, I needed redemption and this time is a real second place. I didn't do anything bad, so I'm so grateful to be where I'm at right now. I'm with awesome competitors and shout out to all of them team, they were great. Anyone you wanna thank? Yeah, I definitely were, and the, sorry, it's that echo. <laughs> <laughs> the Royal Enfield, Dunlop, Maxima, Ports Unlimited, they were a huge contributing factor. I want to thank all the managers and uh, my husband, especially Melly, because they've all been helping me this weekend because it's been a tough weekend. So, <laughs> What's been so tough? Just the history I have here from last season. So this, this time it feels like a real second place this time. So it feels good. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Crystal Martinez. And moving on over to Sonia Lloyd, finishing up in third place. There was a little bit of a bobble back there on the corner. What happened? Yeah, so I knew that the pipes might be a problem because they're kind of low. And I come from a flat tracking background. so. I don't really lean off the bike as much as I necessarily should. So I ended up dragging the pipe, lifted up the rear, and just kind of sent me off. But it's okay, we got back on track. I'm glad I didn't take anybody out coming back on track. Tried to check, but it was a good race overall. I had a lot of fun. Okay, and now with that new experience that you just had, do you think you'll learn from that and take it into the next round? Absolutely, yeah. Body position's gonna be a big thing for me, so I look forward to working on that. Who do you want to thank? I want to thank my dad first and foremost. He's been with me through all of this. Uh, Dale Quarterly for all of his coaching. Royal Enfield, RI, Parts Unlimited. Really everybody on the suit. Um, just want to thank everybody so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our Royal Enfield Build Train Race, their opening round. Guys. All right, thanks very much, uh, Lorette. Just an absolutely great job. And what a great race they put on here in that opening round of the championship. And uh, pretty special stuff to be sure. you got to be happy with it. And look at that. There is the record-setting uh, pole qualifier for the Medallia Superbike class over there giving high fives uh, to uh, our winner here, Michaela Moore. And uh, let's take a look at our schedule for tomorrow. Uh, we start off here, the first thing on Moto America Live Plus, Medallia Superbike warm-up, 10.30 a.m. Eastern time 9 30 local then super sport then warm up for mission king of the baggers then we get into the lunch break we'll have entertainment for you throughout that and then we kick it off with this series the royal enfield build train race race two and uh, then steel commander stock and uh, look at this we wrap things up super sport medallia super bikes and mission king of the baggers race number two freddie such a treat to have you up here we look forward to having you back here for that second race tomorrow absolutely looking forward to that one roger uh just a great day here. We saw records set yesterday. We saw records smashed today. And uh, we saw some phenomenal racing. Yeah, we did. And I can't wait to see tomorrow. I think it's going to be a little bit better. All these guys get to, you know, set down with their crews tonight, make some changes, and have a new game plan for tomorrow. You bet. Absolutely. Well, for, obviously, our guest, Freddie Spencer, for Roger and for Lorette, a big thank you to all of you for 
tuning in. We will be back tomorrow for an absolutely great day. And uh, we look forward to you joining us. We'll see you then.